amazing voices so i just had one with famia as well sister fear is on the album and you had el play twice so who is this person now singing oh this breeze from my dear oh wow so it's not just you and your friends right here in ghana but you moved also to nigeria to do some collaborations mm -hmm. congratulations to you now you it's so time much. for me to invite vida and of course anna to ask questions so we'll start with vida and then we'll invite anna later so um i hope that you're able to answer uh Vida's questions <laughs> <laughs> Miss Vida. i don't i don't know why everyone is trying to because you have, you have, you have a pen and paper well. You know, I always like to just my thoughts down, you know. I don't know why you guys are trying to make Sefa feel like, hey, Charlie, the entertainment version of Kokuba uh, Kwe and Kosi Brad. It's song like that. I always like to jot my thoughts down. I mean, great songs. It's just like listening to an album listening session here in the studio. And I thank DJ Phil for doing us the honor. This is the very first time that I've actually had to listen to her back to back. To appreciate who she is as a singer mm -hmm. i think she's well composed i like she's pretty as well i like the skin you know some mm -hmm. girls will tell you that mm -hmm. before you can make it in this industry you need to tone a bit mm -hmm. but i mean i like the dark, dark skin and all that mm -hmm. i think i no disrespect to bam but i think they are sitting on this talent whatever they are doing they need to you know double that to make this album and the songs go everywhere Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, okay, go everywhere because I feel that the assistant understanding is too it's too big to be you know uh, seen not seen everywhere. Mm -hmm. But listening to her, Sefa, I have a feeling it's just my analysis review of what she said. I have a feeling that she came into the industry having at the back of her mind uh, this mantra sex sells. But she herself said that she has a lot of things that she's harbored in here. So maybe there were other people who were refraining her from doing hair. She also made mention of a uh, reference to uh, even men pull out their shirts and all that. I mean, I think we should be ready to see uh, Sefa walk naked <laughs> very soon because you can't, you can't compare us ladies to the men. I mean, both of us, we are quite endowed in the front mm. you can't you cannot allow yourself you know to you know show those things because you are making reference to them and then you should be challenged to also go naked like the men are doing oh, yeah. i i i i appreciate the fact that you're putting out your emotions in the music but you should know that it's not it's not just for the music sake there are brands that you need to attract uh, there are kids who are looking at you as as, as a role model so when you, and as much as you want to express yourself, I feel that we should tone down a little bit on the exposing part. Because even the Bible says that like the accounts will normally say. Oh well I don't know, but I think it applies to everybody. So if you want to attract brands, if you want kids to look up to you. I mean, there are some things that you need to, you know, show. I mean, the cleavage is, is, is allowed. And moreover, there's, there's been uh, musicians, female musicians who have told that path before. They have the same explanation as you. I want to feel free. I want to be me. And years later, they look back on some of their pictures and they regret it. So once we have the opportunity and the privilege of listening to such musicians, I think you should also take a cue from it because we don't know what tomorrow holds. But vocally... Talent wise, she's good. Oh, please go ahead. Um, um, I appreciate, I appreciate yeah. a lot of you. I feel like everybody is entitled to their opinion, and I really respect yours too. But um, before I joined the industry, I never had it in my mind that sexuality sells. I think the matter of fact, I didn't even know a lot about the industry. I just came in as a raw talent, just trying to make people hear me out and everything like that. I never even thought okay maybe if i start wearing the sort of things that i wear at home i'll get that sort of attention that everybody is giving me the unnecessary attention i spoke about before and also um i feel like the attention is unnecessary it's very as i said as i said like people give unnecessary attention to some things that are irrelevant okay so to to your showing uh it's so irrelevant because it's a way of life you are giving more importance to that 
and it's very very it's just like people saying okay i have makeup on why do you have too much makeup when people install people's makeup it's very ir irrelevant to me because that's the person why are you making a fuss about the person's makeup and also about the brands attracting brands and stuff like that i always that's i always have a problem with going to and also people looking up to me going to places and they ask me questions and i have to give my what i think because i feel like anytime i say what i think people have that perception that i'm trying to convince people to try and do what i'm doing or i'm trying to convince accept. people to, to accept me but that is not the case i'm just i'm just expressing myself and you're talking about attracting brands and i know a lot of people that are way covered up and they are not getting brands to work with some are also exposing and they don't have brands exactly so it depends on how we see this whole thing it depends on the point of view we see it and plus me exposing myself i understand but i don't you see that i always tell people that when i wake up in the morning when somebody wakes up in the morning and you dress like this morning you dressed up and you came you looked in the mirror you checked yourself okay i look nice i don't look nice okay so it's not like i intentionally decide to expose myself and, and i see that it doesn't way look good life. and that, that's how i live my life yes but you didn't introduce that way of life to us at the beginning so if i say i feel you had it at the back of your mind that this sex thing can actually solve which is actually selling because missy a few weeks back everybody was clicking on sefa 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 to see pictures it's, now now they, they are clicking power you understand I, so <laughs> if, if, if if from day one it was your way of life and you didn't show us till 2020 then i think you already had it in mind but you just decided not to show it I, I, okay, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to go on. No, because, because, like, no, because, it's I not mean, bad though. It's not bad because it's, no, it's your way of life. I feel, I feel like, I, miss you, I honestly feel like when I joined the industry before, it's just a few people that knew me from the beginning. Mm. Do you understand? It's just a few people that were paying attention to but me. But I, I knew you from the beginning. Exactly. But, like, did you, did you see me. what I wore to the first Legon show I performed at? But that's that's not the beginning beginning. That's when you sign up. <laughs> Where was it? Even the beginning, the the the, um, the beginning beginning is the, piano bodies. Exactly, piano bodies. But when I did the Afrobeat mashup, the Afrobeat mashup, what I wore, people were complaining. Oh, you, um, your breast was showing too much. Your cleavage was showing too much. Piano bodies. The days that I used to go there, maybe there's been days that I've dressed like this to piano bar because I felt like this. And there's been days that I wore what I felt like. Okay. But okay. So let's 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 just ask. Why do you think that that is taking prominence now? Why do you think everybody is all of a sudden talking about your appearance? I have I have no idea. I think it's it's now that people are actually paying attention to my page and people are going there and actually checking what is happening there. And also I feel like because I don't give them anything to talk about, they feel like that's what they need to talk about because nowadays on social media everybody wants to be part of the conversation. Everybody wants to have something to talk about when it comes to you. So I mean, but I also respect people's views if it's too much because there are lots of things that are too much for people. Maybe me showing neck is too much in another person's religion. So <laughs> it's fine. Missy, I want to know, is this the limit to which you can go with the exposure or we should expect more? Please, let's answer before I go to one. Because here we are, instead of us talking about the great music, we are, we are stuck That's on the That's what she's saying, looks. it's irrelevant. She said she doesn't understand, understand why people pay attention we, we to We are that. stuck on the looks. She's saying that, she, leave the looks alone. Okay, but so she's saying, is, is, that that all, limit? is that all we're going to see you or very soon we'll see you? She, she said, you show us the maybe, I mean, yeah, show to give us a garden of eating field, like, I mean, like, I, leaves I, all over. I, I really, I really, really, I really, really, <laughs> respect you a lot and <laughs> like I, I feel like again this question is very irrelevant very 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 I'm, oh. I'm not gonna answer that okay that's that's fine okay so now we move on to uh, <laughs> I don't mind I don't, I don't mind because Charlie they feel like if I grab that the wings they come yeah. like she she will come up here as you know, very sweet for asking for she will say I'll slap you <laughs> <laughs> somebody apologize for saying someone's question was irrelevant maybe we'll get there <laughs> See what but happens. no you know it's not a relevant question you, you almost got beaten hey yeah. that's what I said that's <laughs> Very soon, I thought I was not here. Yeah, I was not here. I said, "Love your hair." That gradually, that's what I mean. It happens. No, like like the question you asked me is there more to see? I I mean I don't I always say that I don't know what the future holds. Okay. Do you get it? And I I am telling you, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to defend myself and tell you that i don't see it as though i'm exposing myself yeah. that is how i dress yeah. do you understand but you see it to be a problem and i really no, respect your view it's a, it's a no i really respect your view and i respect other people who say okay maybe it's too much or it's something like that but i just feel like <laughs> this is 
this is me. This is me. I think let's clear this. You don't see. I do not see it as a problem at all. But I'm just asking questions that I I even read post um comments from your post, and these are questions that some of your fans are also asking. When we sit down here, we do not talk in our, on our own behalf. We speak on the behalf of the millions of people out there who are who are also listening. So don't take it as. I have a problem with you. I'm just asking know, questions that all, every regular Ghanaian on the streets may ask, but they don't have the, the opportunity to be with you in the studio. So I'm just okay. Maybe so we'll activate out. the phone line because of our leaves. But now let's hear from Anol. Uh, Anol, um, yes, 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 you're welcome. Yes, five to five. Yes, this was really. like a session that you grew. <laughs> <five. laughs> so let's hear five to five. Anol, five. Let's hear you. Ask a question. Oh no, we'll take it easy. Okay, let's hear from Anol. Anol, you're welcome. I think it's coming for uh, it a new yeah, field. It, it, it has come. Yes, yeah, it has come. come. <laughs> Listen, yeah, we are seeing that. Group. You know, it has come. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think <laughs> she has come to have her own understanding of the industry and how things work. And uh, this is the first time I'm actually paying attention to the songs back to back. Mm. And I think she's good. Um, she, she's got her creative juices on. Um, if she had all this grooming from farm, then I think they've done a great job in terms of grooming her, getting her to sound on point and do songs that you want to listen to over and over again. But you know, um, I'll touch on a few things that she has said with regards to what people see as irrelevant and uh, what people decide to pay attention to. I see this music business as give and take affair. You know, what you give your people is what they take. In fact, you're selling. So you could either decide to sell your products or sell your personality or sell both of it. Mm. So if you give us more of you and not of the music, that's what we hold on to. And just as you would want us to say your music is good because we listen and we loved it, or your music is bad because we listened and it wasn't good, the same way if you decide to give us the other side, we have the right to say what we think about it. Uh, I'm sure people, you know, watch her pictures, see her stuff and go like, oh, you look pretty. I mean, she'll take those ones in good stride. You know, you, uh, this side of you is really cool. We love it. Same way, if they think it is too much and they say it, that shouldn't all of a sudden become unnecessary or they paying attention to the unnecessary stuff because everything around the Sefa brand, your music yourself, is, is to, a, to a large extent, one. You can't detach the Sefa brand from her music. Neither can you detach the music from the Sefa brand. So both of them work together. But ask yourself, which one are you giving to the public more? Or which one are you giving to your buyers more? Is it the music? Or is it the pictures that you put out there for them to feed their eyes on? If it's the music and they are still paying attention to you and not the music, does it have to do with the problem with promotion and also getting people to focus on the music and not what you would term the unnecessary stuff? You know, um, since they fear came into the industry, you know, with this vibe of letting people pay attention to what she is showing on stage or how she is looking on stage. It got to a point, she admitted that, look, I am trying to reshift your focus onto my music. I think you guys are sleeping on the talent that I have musically. So this time round, I'm going to push and focus on getting you to pay attention to my music. So it is possible this could happen if you continuously draw attention onto yourself more than the music. Is it your problem? Is it a management problem? Is it that you don't pay much attention to the product, which is why you're here in the first place? Because I, if I ask you, why did you get into the industry? You tell me, yes, because I wanted people to hear me out. I wanted people to listen to my music and know how great a talent I am. And not necessarily pay attention to how I dress or how I decide to look. Because like you said, it is your way of life. But your way of life has become a business. You know, if you sat in your house, ate your food and watch your television, and somebody walked in there or saw you on the street and start talking about your looks, you could have a problem because I'm not in your business. I mean, I'm living my own life. So why are you talking about the way I'm looking? But now it has become a business. It has become something that you go in there, plan, package, uh, strategize, and come out to present. When you come out on stage to perform, you're doing business. You, you, you were backstage, you decided with your team how you want to look on stage and all that, and then you come on stage to present to us. So we have every right to either punch holes into what you're presenting to us or appreciate it as we see and feel about it. So if you feel the song is good, we'll talk about it. 
And I'm sure a lot of people have commended you uh, about how great you are as a talent when it comes to your song. The same way, if there are some people who feel that, look, you are showing us this, and we read them and the things, we look, and we'll appreciate it. There are a few people who are so, 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 so conservative. And also, they are much into our cultural stance that certain things if they see, they won't keep quiet. Even the vice president's wife is being bastardized because of the way she dressed in a certain quarters. So it is allowed. What you have to understand is in this business, as much as people love you, there are people who criticize you. And most of the times when people criticize us, we think they are against us and they don't want us to see the truth or they don't want us to feel good about ourselves. But these people are necessarily evil. Whether I like it or not, you need them to point us any things to you. Um, you made mention about the fact that men do what they like. <laughs> Nobody complains about it. <laughs> Women also do the same. And we say, hey, you know, they say that the, the cow chews grass. Uh, everybody plays. The cow is playing and we say he's mad. <laughs> you know, it's, it's always the same thing we're talking about here. But even with the men, there's a limit to which men go or do things without the public talking. There's a limit that when they get, people talk about it. And so as women, and it is mainly based on how we were brought up, our cultural, our norms and societal, blah, 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 blah. Those things are the reasons why people criticize women for doing certain things and leave men off the hook. It is the way we were brought up. And mind you, we're doing this business not in a vacuum. The business is being done with the people who grew up with a certain cultural background and who grew up with a certain training. And so you can't do things and just expect them to take it hook, line, and sinker because we have a certain base we deal with. So please, you are free to dress the way you like. Me, I'm okay once the music is good. But I can tell you for a fact, if you push the music more, they will naturally forget how you look and they'll focus on the music. If you push it more, if you do a lot more promotion and give us all the bangers, we'll forget about all the other things and focus because the bangers are coming. Ebony, classic example. People were very, very, very hard on her. But when she kept dropping the hits, mm. her, uh, so to speak, nudity or whatever it is, became almost irrelevant. Because even if you talk about it, you still move back to the fact that she's talented. You still move back to the fact that she's giving you multiple hits. You still move back to the fact that she became the hottest female at a certain point in time. Who doesn't want to hear that? So give us more music, give us more promotion, and these things will die off without you having to even defend it. Okay, you have something to say before we go to the next question. I don't, I really don't want to say anything because I, I feel like the way I think is very different. That's why I told you I'm very, <laughs> I keep to myself. So I don't want to say anything and it will be like, okay, maybe the stuff we used to know. It's not the stuff we know but now. This is growth. You're, you're growing, so yeah. And that's, that's the name of the album, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you even admitted that the way you talk is different, and your reasoning is different. So you're very, very free to speak your mind. You see, the thing about things like this is that if you don't begin to let us know the you that we're supposed yeah. to know, yeah. we'll definitely continue to remind you of the you that we used to know. Forgetting that yeah, you're but going. Miss G is like I've said it over and over and over again. Oh, oh, oh. So yes, your stance remains so, same. So it's. And it's like anytime I open my mouth to say something, people read it in a different manner. That is my problem because most of the times when I try to put my 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 thoughts across, I feel like people don't pay attention. People people are not paying attention to me. You know, when it comes to me, I said when it comes to me, I didn't differentiate between okay, I'm getting offended with what the negative stuff people are talking about or the positive stuff people are talking about. What I said was that I feel like all those comments are not necessary mm. because this is social media i mean this is the entertainment industry in as much as we want the music to sell to we also want the person's personality to also sell the person's looks to also sell because this is showbiz do you understand mm. so maybe if the way i dress the way i dress people don't see it to be something that it follows cultural uh, the way we're brought up or the cultural there are lots of things that has changed now that does not follow our culture or the way we're brought up but people are doing it now people are doing it so why is it that the way i dress has to even be a conversation mm. that's what i'm talking about because i don't come to your offices and tell you that the way you talk to your people because you're also working in your office the way you talk to people is not good or the way you are dressed in your office is not good my dressing shouldn't be a conversation like i'm here right now we are talking about the growth album we are promoting the growth album in as much as if you go to my page 
everything on there is about my music mm -hmm. even when i put a video out it's about my music i'm promoting my music do you understand but you can force the host to the river but you can't force it to drink i'm giving you the music if you won't accept it do you understand there are other people that are accepting it there are other people because they can relate to it it is for them if you see something on the internet and you don't like it that means you are not the target audience you get it mm -hmm. so i'm putting out the music i'm trying with the promotion and everything mm -hmm. maybe you feel like i'm not doing my best because it's not all over the place but again i am trying i'm here i'm sick mm -hmm. but i'm at an interview mm -hmm. you get it so people don't know these things people just sit down and just assume oh this is how she came so now that she's doing something else she has changed she's a bad girl now she's like, no that is not it i'm still the same person she's still the same so far let's go no, but, uh, now uh, <laughs> I, i'm not sure that that's what you meant to do no, no, that's not what I. That's not what I meant. But even that, no. When when you put out your song, do you expect people to talk about it? It's a song. It's a song. Same way when you put out, you know, either images or videos of you on your same business platform, do you expect people to talk about it? Yes. That's it. So once you expect people to talk about it, what they say about it is entirely up sure. to them. Based on how you presented it and how they see it. That's why I said I respect everybody's opinion. That's right. why I don't comment, oh, what you said was bad. What you said was terrible. But, but to you, it's unnecessary. To me, it's yeah. unnecessary. It's but to irrelevant. them, it could be very necessary and Exactly. Relevant. So your opinion, your opinion matters to you. Right. Do you understand? So can they go on talking? I mean, if you want to talk about it, that's your problem. That's it. All right, so let's get to Rick now. Rick, yeah. thank you for coming late. Ah, nice was this supposed to? Was, was this supposed but to? But you came in late. So you are welcome. Okay, so the next time you will come in late, I and think I'll tell I'll, the world. Yeah, I'll tell the world. Don't worry. It, 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 is, it is do me, I do you. God do me this. Ah, yes. uh -huh. So uh, you are welcome. Let's hear. Thank you very much. I've been listening to the conversation. I've been listening to Sefer's interview, like, you know, always at several places and i feel i don't know but maybe it's a strategy but i i feel she should be mindful because she's becoming very very defensive now um but maybe it's part of the growth that's why they strategically got the title of the album because i remember the first time with regards to her brand i'll speak about the album with regards to her brand i remember the first time there was an industry session with herself d black at the former BAM headquarters at um, North, Kandishi. North Kandishi. And someone said, a lady said that Sefa was too exposed. She was exposing a lot of herself and blah, 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 blah. The lady was actually mistaking her for Nina Ricci. She mm. was not too happy with it. I remember very, very, very well. She was not too happy with it. She stated emphatically that that is not her brand. This is not who she is. It's not her because the girl was also very, very, very like keen that it is you. I don't know if you remember that day. The lady was, I think it was um, Delali. Um, but Delali was also there. The lady was emphatic that no, it's Sefa. It's you. It's you. You've been exposing yourself a lot. Black Avenue. And she was like, nah, it's not me. So later, someone pointed out that it's not her. It is Nina Ricci. So all I'm trying to say was, she, I remember she was very emphatic about it the focus being her music you know she really being more focused on her music so it's really surprising that now that maybe people have begun to question your looks or your uh, yeah your appearance you feel that it is unfair maybe it is also because of certain comments that you've made i don't know if if you can clarify if you can um tell me if you remember that that incident I remember yeah so i'm i'm sure that maybe it's like let's let, let me use Anadina. Consistently, we've seen her, or she's told us how she wants people to focus more on her music. So if maybe if by next year, two years, she begins to do certain things, of course, it's going to raise eyebrows. People are going to begin to question it. So I think you should you should rather ignore or rather than speak about it because it is you. People really have become used to your music you being sefa how you look and not necessarily you know being because recently i saw your your picture with um, nina Ricci, that same you know person that you have been com um, compared to and the picture was hot i don't know if maybe you saw that picture do like hours, uh, right? no not during i don't know but i think they went to um uh, axim or something and then they they took a picture they took a picture you guys were on the um, speed boat or 
top of a river. Yeah, man. So there was water. No, you, like you see, so you see, that's that's the defensive part I would want to see. Originally, she may not want that picture to come out. So it's not about where you are. It's not about you being on a river or whatever. Maybe a do so you can say, I beg you, this is not the kind of image I want to put out of myself. So it's not about where you find it. They are, they are, I don't know if you get me. So yeah. don't say that because I was sitting on a jet ski and then, of course, I'm supposed to. Mm -hmm. It's like you swimming. But when pictures of you are coming out, obviously, you know. Because you even posted it yourself. I think she controls your social media. Aha. Uh -huh, no, but whichever. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, sometimes if you want to be very, very critical about what you've said, what you've done and all of that, it's going to give away a lot of people. So for me, I think let's not. You should not, like you're saying, you for you now, you think... <laughs> It's your way of life. You just want to live your life and move. So just ignore because when you make those comparisons with what men do and mm. blah blah blah, especially when you talk about the top when they take off, and that is not a man's private part. Your his chest and your chest are, are seen differently. That's why when I'm coming to visit you at home and you are naked, or when I'm, you are going to take a shower, you put a towel around your lower body and your chest a man will just wear boxes and so i think the comparison when we try to compare or try to make it seem like these guys are doing this and you are not complaining often maybe it's because we expect more from you like uh, manot said we want to move beyond the concept of sex sales sex sales sex sales because now trust me a lot of the streams a lot of um, data statistics tells that it's not really about those who are showing more body it is about those who are producing the right themes the right melodies the right um you know writing skills when you go on streams the likes of joe boy fireball you know you we listen to them we know the sounds that they are producing we know the melodies that they are they're producing it has nothing to do with controversies people we are getting out of the era of controversy trying to do this trying to do that no hard feelings but wendy has done a lot of that wendy in this bb out in number two trying to create a little some level of controversy and all of that but but let's let's be sincere in the in the last few times that wendy has dropped songs she hasn't gotten that attention that she needs unlike even when she came fresh and she was just being herself so for me i think that ignore everybody just focus we all know we all say that sefa is good i heard fighter saying that she feels that enough has not been done for you i feel that you know sefa is good right after um the other group members left you got a nomination you got a big song not with some of these things you know so for me i feel that you need to just keep your head up maybe you're thinking that people need to begin to accept you in a particular way but mind you there are audience you need to also satisfy it's not just about you one thing i like about the lynx family is the kind of music videos they produce you can sit with your child and watch their music video on ferry back their songs appeal to a lot of people like masses because they know the target they know who they want to reach they can play weddings they can play funerals they can play because they are targeting everybody else they won't say oh i say charlie it be my life it be my life so if i want to say onye in a song i need to put it in there because that's how i feel no strategies you know team strategy tells you that you are appealing to a particular audience i'm sure tv3 um, 3 FM. There are things that you may want to say. It's Miss G's lifestyle. She wants to act a particular way. But once you get on set, once you get on the job, you need to identify that there are audiences, there are people I really want to reach out to. So for me, I think that, you know, please, let's begin to, or try to move yourself away from trying to defend your way of life too much. And then just continue to do the music. Also, um, about the music, I wanted to ask the whole idea of you know features i just wanted to know the whole idea was of bringing a lot of um, artists together on a song because I, I i get that but in terms of their support i don't really see it much it has been you 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 promoting the song a lot of times but meanwhile you had a lot of you know our own people on the song like i don't know if you can share the level of support that you expect that they, go, they are going to give you and if you've gotten it to that level well, I think after the, the album was released, a few of them posted it, and I don't know. I just I just don't put my mind there because I feel like this is my job and I'm I'm just doing my own. And other artists, you can what you can do is plead to them to help you promote it. Yeah. But if they don't want to do it, just 
there's nothing in it. But is that supposed to be the case? Because you work with somebody, it's not supposed to be a joint effort because it's your voice and your voice only as well. Or is it that that's not, not how it works in Ghana? Is it, is it that you're not getting anything? That's not how it's not like they're not getting anything, but that's not how it works in Ghana because I feel like if somebody really loves the song that you did with a person and somebody wants to help you promote the song, they're going to do it. Because some of the artists on the, the album, as I said before, mm. they, they've really been posting it, they've been sharing it on their um, social media and stuff like that, but some of them too haven't, haven't yeah. done it. And it's not like I've not reached out to them, they know it's out, I've reached out to them, but I mean, if you don't want to post their account, but I think it's, it's unfair, Ms. G, and I think it's, it's, for me, those are the conversations that I think you should be leading more, because strategically, what I saw with your song with um, Dope Nation, it was because of the joint effort, because of the support. I think Dope, Dope Nation owned the song. They, they, they put in their all in the song, and just as you did. And that's also what helped the song. Yeah, because so I think, it produced it as well. Uh, one of them produced, right? Yeah, it mm. yeah I, I think it's something that you should you should get because I've seen you do a lot for a lot of these artists, like being on their stages. My, like I said, yeah, I follow you a lot. You know I'm, I'm more like family, so I follow you a lot. <laughs> I've, you've been on a lot of their stages, performing for them, quote unquote, for free. So what more can they do than to also try and, you know, support? Because I've seen <laughs> the works. Yeah, I've seen what you've been posting. I mean, there are, there are even female artists that have, when they release their songs, even though I've not even listened to their songs, I repost yeah. their their flyers and everything but since i started promoting this song i've not seen anything yeah. on their pages and stuff like that i mean this whole music thing here, there's a lot to this whole yeah. music thing yeah. it's not only yeah. about my looks that's why i have a problem you said i'm being defensive that is not it i just have a problem with the fact that fine i go to a place to promote my song do you understand i don't i don't have a problem with people criticizing me because yeah. i don't really i not like i don't care i listen but yeah. i'm not defensive okay but let's talk about yeah, my yeah, music yeah. too <laughs> Okay, that's my problem. Okay, let me activate the phone lines. Zero 